And if you think about it, every story includes a tragedy. Often starts with a tragedy, a slump, a slump to climb out. Hey, Mr. Brown, it's good to see you out this morning. Just could not keep you cooped back up, cooped up back there anymore. You're out and about in the living room. I see you've already destroyed, Brownzilla has destroyed Jonah's Legos. This okay. is a logging truck that carries logs away, and then this is a thing that cuts down the logs and takes them to nice. where they get cut. Look here, guys, very excited about this, where we planted potatoes two weeks ago. There's our first shoot, my first visible shoot. Come on, Trump, for being the guard goose, you're the... Every day I tell a story. And today's story, I don't want to tell. In fact, this last week, None of these stories I wanted to tell. I didn't, I didn't want any of this to happen. Usually, I have a story I'm passionate about and ready to go out and tell to, to teach people something and to also make them laugh. But you've noticed, these haven't been that funny and probably not that informative. But it's real life at the homestead and those are important stories to tell. This is no joke. Okay, this is the struggles of the homestead. I'm survival farming right now. I'm maintenance farming right now. Everybody's just getting their water and their food. It's setting us back because it's springtime. I wish today we could go out and do something adventurous. Start another experiment. Plant some more seeds. Move the chickens. But now Josiah's sick too. And so we're going to be taking care of him. Lily's still sick. Mama's still sick. Gideon's doing better. That's good. Jonah's still hanging in there, stepping up as a man. Good job, buddy. Just getting the trash out for today, cooking us breakfast. We're going to do our best to take care of everyone in this time of need. Thanks for the breakfast, buddy. Welcome. Appreciate it very much. You're welcome. And if you think about it, every story includes a tragedy. Often starts with a tragedy, a slump, a slump to climb out. Our story has ups and downs, and to make the ups even better, we got to include the downs. Right, buddy? It's not all unicorns farting rainbows around here, is it? Look at this orange juice. You made that yourself? You're growing up on me. <laughs> it felt like yesterday you were just a baby. You were just a baby like Mr. Brown. And now you're making your own orange juice, building Legos, making breakfast. Josiah's calling me. What do you need, buddy? Can you plant my chemical? 102.2. So I'm gonna give you some meds, okay? And how are you feeling? Good. After 36 hours of sleep, pretty much, the night before, all day yesterday, and last night, you are the champ. Word on the street is you don't have a fever anymore. You're good, girl. Good job. Here's some ad. You want to take a nap, buddy? Open the window up. Nice view. Nice noise, too. You like the rooster talking to you? I do. Word on the street is I put you in Lily's pa old pants. I thought those were a little form-fitting, feminine. Oh, but you look cute in them. Only you can pull them off. Uh-oh, looks like I've gotten behind on the dishes. <laughs> hey, you're not helping the situation, buddy. Pouring out the uh, washing detergent. Put it with the other detergent we put in a jar because we've had to sweep it off the floor. All right, shut it. This one. And then this one. And then this one. Good job. And finished. I always think of my friend Jody when cleaning the sink, man. If there were an Olympic event for cleaning sinks, Jody would win it. 
So I tried to get to that standard. I think he might be halfway proud, given the fact that everybody in my house is sick. How you doing, honey? You took a bath, feel better? Good. Yeah, I'll make you some tea. Tea is done. Save that fertilized duck egg from yesterday. Put it in this egg carton, leave it on the counter, it'll last up a couple weeks. Let's label it so we know what's happening. I'm glad to see you up and about a little bit today. How are you feeling? Good. Look at me, look at me. You got some red rosy cheeks. Looking awful cute. Yeah, you, her temperature's down. It's been down for most of the day, and she's been awake more, but she has taken some more naps. Mr. Brown has been out at it for the last today and yesterday, but now has got a little bit of a temperature. We got a wet rag on him while he sleeps. Mama's starting to feel better, full appetite. He wanted some apples. I got him up some apples. He's doing good. So, Donna, we gotta have some fun for a minute, man. It's just you and I. You've been asking for it all day for me to play with you. So let's let's make something kind of explode. We need vinegar, an empty bottle, baking soda, a smiley boy. Let's put it. Let's put it, let's put it, let's put it until it reaches the air. Now you pour some vinegar in there. Okay. That's good. Ah. Wow. <laughs> Notice how the dish is piled up again before I can even empty out the ones we did earlier today. Look, and I've, I've built this where it can be pulled away to where they want it, and then they can cut it open with the saw and the axe. And then if he needs to go through a big snow thing where the, where the road is, he can use these to plow through it. Look what I made, Papa. It's a cleaning up cart. So we got we got to get the battery out though to get it charged, right? What's a man gonna do without his Barbie car? Mm -hmm. We're out here on a mission to find a tree he's never climbed before, and we found one right here by the creek. But the trick is he needs a ladder. Go ahead, go for it, buddy. I'll hold. I got your, I got your back. I got your support here. Yeah, that's pretty high. You can see over the hedge onto the neighbors. This is pretty crazy. You gonna ride in the wheelbarrow? 